Hi, my name is Alita Lowe, and I'm the producing director of Burnt Thicket Theatre. In 2011, we produced the world premiere of Andrew Kuman's play, She Has a Name. And in 2012, we're looking to take this critically acclaimed show on the road to 13 different cities across North America. We're hoping to hit fringe festivals across Canada, as well as self-produce in cities across both Canada and the U.S. One of the great things about my job is that I get to work with talented, passionate artists like Andrew Kuman, the playwright, like Steve Waldschmidt, the director, and the actors, the producers, the designers who all came together to make the world premiere the unbelievable success that it was. And the best part about my job is that I get to take their visions, I get to take their dreams and their passions and make them a reality. One of the things that we're really proud of at Burnt Thicket is our commitment to paying artists. When we did the world premiere of She Has a Name, 85% of our budget went to paying artist fees. We know that it's really difficult sometimes for small theatre companies to pay a competitive rate to their artists, and they rely often on the fact that artists are passionate and invested in their work and are willing to do it for little or no money. And we feel that it's very important that we adjust our budgets accordingly so that as much as possible is going back to the artists. They are talented, dedicated, passionate individuals, and they deserve to be recognized for that as they're trying to make a living in this field. For the tour, despite the fact that we have an exponentially larger budget and many more administrative costs that come with such a long-term and large-scale project like accommodations and gas and just a larger administrative uh, base, we still have over 60% of our budget dedicated to paying the people who are involved. And that includes the actors, the director, royalties for the playwright, royalties for the designers who, who made the vision and the lights and the sound and music of the show come together, as well as paying the producers and the administrative staff and the people who are working behind the scenes to make the tour a reality. What we're asking of our actors, the five actors and the one stage manager who will go on the road, is that they give up six months of their year to be a part of telling this story. We are asking them to give up opportunities to be involved in other theatre, to have other streams of income at the same time, and to devote half a year to telling the story of Number 18 and Jason. We want to honour that time, that dedication, that talent, by ensuring that we pay a living wage. We're looking to raise $10,000 through Indiegogo by August 31st and an additional $50,000 by October 15th through Ride for Refuge, which is a multi-city bike ride benefiting organizations that work with human rights and social justice. And this $60,000 will help to contract the actors and the production staff and the people that we need to make sure this tour happens. We can have all of the administrative details in place, but if we don't have people, we don't have a tour. We don't have a way to tell this story. The $60,000, of course, won't pay all of the salaries for the next year and a bit, but it will give us the start. It will give us the seed that we need as we continue to fundraise and as we continue to, to look for other streams of income in order to make this tour happen. She Has a Name was well received by audiences in Calgary and Red Deer. Uh, I had so many people talk to me after the show and not know what to say. They were just at a loss for words because this show is not comfortable, it's not easy, and it's not safe, but it's important. And it's the kind of show that compels people to action. We're partnered with a number of human justice organizations who are mobilized to do the work that we as a theater company just aren't able to do. But what we do, and what we do well, is we tell the story. We will tell you about number 18, about Jason, characters who are based on so many thousands of girls whose lives are, are caught up in sex slavery and in ways that we can't even imagine. We need to take the story of number 18 across North America to thousands more audience members who will be compelled to act the same way that audiences were in Calgary and Red Deer. I realized today that if every single one of my Facebook friends alone gave $10 to our Indiegogo campaign, that we would be over 40% of the way there. I think that almost everybody can give $10. You can give up a Starbucks run, you can forgo going out for lunch one day. I know that there are people out there who can give $100, who have it in their budgets to give a little bit more to ensure that this story is told across the continent. I know that there are people out there who can give $1,000, that this is an important cause that you are 
willing to champion. Maybe you saw the play in Calgary or Red Deer. You know how much it impacted you and you want to see that happen to other audience members. Whatever you can give, whether it's $10 or 1000 it will ensure that this story is told. It will honor the time and the talent of the individuals who are telling the story, and it will go toward compelling audiences across North America to act.